we're going to be making Hobbit themed clothespin dolls from The Lord of the Rings. In addition to the head bead clothespin and pipe cleaner you need for the basic clothespin doll tutorial, you will also be needing a 4 by 7 centimeter piece of felt for the sleeves of your doll and a 3.5 by 3.5 inch piece of felt for the cape. Additionally, you will be needing a toothpick and silver sharpie or other metallic paint for a sword, scissors, a hot glue gun, a ruler, and paint for the vest, shirt, and pants of your doll. For the hair of the doll, I wanted to experiment with using this kind of doll hair. However, it ended up being a lot harder to use than I anticipated, so for the purposes of this video, I will be painting on the doll hair. However, if you'd like a tutorial on how to use this curly, three-dimensional doll hair, let me know in the comments down below, and I will figure out how to do a tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is use a pencil to plan out approximately where you want to put the jacket, the vest, the buttons, and the pants on your doll. Okay. Once more, your template line should be light. Here I am painting on the white shirt. Now I'm painting on the jacket. Now I'm going to use a grayish black for the pants. You can also paint the inside of the pants. I'm going to add a yellow vest. One of the nice things about acrylics, you can always just paint over your mistakes. Now we're going to make the sleeves by cutting our 7 by 4 centimeter piece of felt in half and using half a piece of pipe cleaner. The first thing you're going to do is roll the hands of the pipe cleaner by rolling a small amount once and then twice on either side. Now place the 7 by 2 centimeter strip of felt underneath your pipe cleaner. And since your pipe cleaner is folded in half, take care that when you wrap it around, the seam of the felt will be at the back or at the bottom and not in the front. Now you're going to take your hot glue and put it along part of the felt. And you're going to take the felt and press it together and hold it for a count of five. And repeat the process all the way to the shoulder. As you can see, if once the arms are glued onto the person, the seam should be on the bottom and the back of the arm. Trim off the excess felt and then repeat on the other side. Trim off the excess hot glue and then you will be ready to glue it to the body of the doll. Now we're going to glue the arms onto the back of the doll. And just as a reminder, the glued seams of the sleeves should be pointing down and back. Now I'm going to make a three and a half inch quarter circle by measuring three and a half inches from one corner of my felt fabric. Now I'm cutting out the three and a half inch quarter circle that will be the cape. I'm going to fold the top down by about an inch and there's the hood and here's the cape. Then I'm going to wrap it around the shoulders of the doll and figure out where I want to put it in a place that looks good. As you can see, I've picked where I want to put down my cape, and now I will hot glue the corners with a very small amount of hot glue to the doll. As you can see, I'm using a toothpick colored in with a silver sharpie as a sword, and have arranged the felt so that it looks nice and dramatic. On the Pippin doll, I used a ribbon to make a scarf. And if you make a Frodo doll, you might be wanting a one ring. To do this, you can use a jump ring found in things for jewelry making and some thread. Here are your finished Mary and Pippin dolls. Enjoy your new dolls. Have a nice day and thank you for watching.